Hello everyone, this is Dragonfly. I'm new to the uh, YouTube arena and uh, wanted to give a short introduction to a series that I'm going to try to do here. And what it is, is uh, using DCS World Mission Editor and developing a mission scenario with four or five missions. And then uh, after we've built them on in different videos, then we'll go ahead and, and do a playthrough of each of the missions. Uh, I want to introduce myself just a little bit, though. I'm a uh, previous Air Force pilot, but I retired a long time ago, back in 1999. I spent 20 years in the Air Force, flew T-37s, T-38s, uh, KC-135 tankers, and got drafted to go back to be a T-37 instructor pilot. It's probably one of the best things that ever happened to me because uh, I got to teach the new guys in the Air Force uh, in their first jet. And the best way to learn how to do something is to try to teach it to somebody. So I spent four years doing that. And then the last half of uh, my Air Force career, uh, I flew the uh, U-2 Dragon Lady, which uh, was strategic reconnaissance. And then the T-38 is the companion trainer to the uh, U-2. Also had a couple staff jobs in there. One of them uh, uh, at the Pentagon uh, working in, then it was called the Joint Reconnaissance Center. So I have a little bit of a uh, real world background. I'm not saying it's gonna translate directly into uh, um, DCS world, mainly because most of my experience is high altitude strategic level and I don't know very much about the tactical level, so hopefully uh, I won't mess that up too bad. But I enjoy flying the uh, Harrier, the AV-8B Harrier in DCS World, and I enjoy building single player missions also. And so if there are people out there that like that, then hopefully they'll enjoy this series. Before you start a uh, buildup of a mission scenario, you need to come up with a concept. So I'll, I'll briefly explain my concept and, and uh, then in, that, in the video there. The uh, concept uh, for this is uh, we're going to be on the Caucasus map because that's the one that comes with the ECS world and one most people are familiar with. And uh, Red Forces have attacked some of their citizens with chemical weapons using helicopters. And this has evoked a UN response, and the UN is sending humanitarian aid as well as monitor, monitoring forces, inspection teams, and the like into the area. And obviously, Red Forces aren't real happy about this. So the UN has requested that the United States provide a Marine Expeditionary Force to be their military arm. And we're part of that uh, Marine Expeditionary Force uh, as a uh, AV-8B Harrier unit on the Tarawa, or on a Tarawa class ship. So that's the overall scenario that we're gonna build up, and then we'll develop individual missions within that. So hopefully you'll join me for the series, and hopefully we'll learn something together. I usually learn something every time I do one of these. So until the uh, first video, y'all take care and hope to see you soon.